can anyone really figure this team out? I mean, I, I know I can't. Um, do we have to play Oklahoma every week to, to get up for a game? I don't know. Really, you know, it was uh, final was uh, you know Oklahoma State sixty eight, Texas fifty nine. Um, it really, you know, it should have been worse than it was. I don't know how Texas kept themselves in it. Uh, we did play scrappy and, and played hard. Didn't play well. I don't know. At one point we played well, uh, but Texas was fighting scrappy and trying to get in. Um, but Oklahoma State wanted more, and there's reasons why. One, they're at home, which is that's that's to be understandable. And also, they are a team who is looking like they're going to be on the outside looking in when March Madness comes. They needed a signature win, and I guess Texas is a signature win. Um, and they got it, and they needed it, and that's what the way they played. Um, from Texas' point of view, you know, really, uh, Texas is probably going to get in uh, to the tournament. Um, not a very good seed. You know, we're used to having a better seed. But more than likely, we're going to get in. And we th- this game was not one that we had to win to get in. But we did need to win and play well just for the sake of, of playing well, to, to go into the tournament playing your best ball, and we're not. I don't know what we're playing. We played Oklahoma. We played Oklahoma. Looked like we were playing well, trying to find some kind of identity. And then you know, we played Texas Tech uh, in the last game at home, and we won by six. Tech's not very good. I know Tech took uh, Oklahoma the wire, but, but Tech's not very good. So that wasn't very good, even though we won. And now we play Oklahoma State, a team I think is a very good team. Um, and we lose because we don't bring our A game. You know, Eton only had two points. Uh, but he was still a factor on defense, getting rebounds. Moses killed us. I think he had 27. I can't remember how much he had. You know, and a lot of people talk about Damian James and his double-double, and he's been doing it. He's been doing great uh, in that area. But but his turnovers have got to stop. His ball handling skills are terrible. And I don't know how many times he would go up for a rebound thinking, all right, we get it, and then lose it. I don't know how many times he lost the ball today. Now, a guy I really want to uh, to point out for Texas is Harrison Smith. Who is a junior on the team? Who he's really he's a bit he's a bench warmer on our team. He doesn't play much. Um, I felt he came in. Rick Barnes put him in, and you know he may have got put in like the same way when he got put against OU when we played in Norman. Kind of a, a punishment for the team where we weren't playing well, so we put the bench warmer in. This game, Harrison Smith. I don't know what the reasons were, but he played well. Uh, he hit a three, I think maybe two. Uh, he got a tip in. He he got some rebounds. He fought for the ball. Harrison Smith to me. I think he earned himself more playing time, and I want to see him on the court more often. The guy's not a scrub. The guy can play. He can ball. And, um, you know, I I mean, I'm not the coach. There's a reason why he didn't play as much, but from what I've seen so far, uh, give the guy a chance. He's playing harder and better than other guys on the court. You know, the loss of Gary Johnson, and I'm not sure how long he's out, uh, is really hurting us because we're losing that consistent uh, free throw threat. Uh, that's his shot from the elbow. And, you know, Damien, Damien can shoot from there. Damien can play, you know, he can catch to the outside, he can go inside, but he's not consistent. Gary Johnson is, and we don't have that right now. So, another loss for Texas. This is very um, weird for us here to, you know, have a consistent, consistently losing. Um, we, we have enough, the reason, one reason Texas is going to get in uh, we should beat Baylor Monday, but once again, there's nothing guaranteed for this Texas team. So <laughs> if we lose on Monday, I'm not going to be extremely surprised. Um, but we should win that game. And, and if we beat Kansas, that'll be great if, if we even can. Uh, but if we lose, which may happen, uh, I think we'll still get in. Um, one, I think name may get us in. We're Texas, and it helps. Also, we do have some notable wins. We beat Villanova. We beat Wisconsin on the road. We beat UCLA here in Austin. Um we beat Oklahoma here in Austin. So those are no, enough notable wins to get you in. Um, but we're not. it's not about just getting in. It's about actually making a run. And, and I know expectations to win the whole thing, that's kind of reaching a little bit too much. But uh, you want to make a good showing and a respectable showing. Uh, right now, Texas doesn't look like they can do that. Uh, Oklahoma State's a good team, but we'll be playing better teams down the road. And if we can't win those games on the road, I don't care if it's on the road or not. Um, you got to take care of business. So, congratulations, to Oklahoma State. I mean, their team. I think it's, if they got into the tournament, could cause some problems for other people. Um, and they got a signature win. Uh, they, you definitely could tell the, the intensity that they came with uh, was a lot better than what we had. And they definitely came out as a team. It looked like a game seven in a in a playoff or an elimination game. 
for one team, and the team that was about to get eliminated uh, came out with everything they got. Oklahoma State won it. Oklahoma State fans should be proud of their team coming out. And uh, Texas, uh, get ready for Baylor at home. Uh, Baylor's been struggling of late, and uh, but that <laughs> so have we. So it should be a great game, I guess. So, Hook'em Horns, Texas fight, and uh, guys need to get together.